George Metcalf, president of the Natchez chapter of the NAACP, was critically injured in Natchez this afternoon when dynamite hidden beneath the hood of his car exploded when he turned on the ignition. When the bomb went off out of the hood of his vehicle, a lot of that metal and brass just went back into his face. After the bombing of Metcalf's car, the black community explodes. Yeah, get that phone, somebody. What is happening is that the people are arming themselves, true, but tonight, People just want to serve notice on the city, that's all. We just gonna let these people know we tired. We have a mass meeting tonight, Friday, August 27, 1965, place, 9 St. Catherine, time 6.30 p.m., purpose, protest, Ku Klux Klan violence. in good condition. As we have told them many a time, they can destroy a man, but they cannot destroy this movement. Didn't do a thing that made us more determined. We are more determined than ever that we're going to rid Natchez of all the races, the bigots, the Ku Klux Klan, and you're going to do your job as police officers and as mayor of our cities, uh, else. Now you figure out what else is. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, man, do whatever I can for freedom. And if I had to die for it, man. After George Metcalf is car bomb, enter James Jackson, who is the cool street dude, dark glasses. Hey, man. Tall, dark, and handsome. Who's your favorite movie star? Hey, man. Marlon Brando. James Jackson was a local barber. Very charismatic, always with his gun to his side. The community is angry. The whole idea of nonviolence is out the window. The quickest way to freedom is to meet violence with violence. Violence with violence. Black mud. This is a powder keg, man. And tonight, tonight, the fuse is going to be lit. On the day after that bomb explosion of George, Five young men made a trip to Bogalusa, Louisiana. They had heard about the Deacons. The Deacons first started in Louisiana. They clashed with the police as they openly practiced armed self-defense. They got national attention. We decided to drive to Bogalusa and ask them how they got organized. We got there about maybe about 1 o'clock that night. They sent us down the back road to find it. We were surrounded by blacks like I don't know what. Shotgun on my nose like that through the door. James Jackson, he got out of the car and went with it. But they came back about an hour or so later. They gave us guns, and we came on back here. 